Here we are at 1204 South Avenue. Now, you remember how nasty this place looked? Look at it now. Huh? That's pretty. Just finishing up, putting the finishing tub touches. In fact, uh, you'll see some tape across there. I got some wet paint painting the sidewalk. And I didn't I didn't have to do that because it's all rented, but now we've gone this far. Let's make it nice. Okay, you can see in the front we've got all that dirt out of there where the brick is. The dirt was about six inches above the bottom. They had weeds growing in the house because it was just, it's never been cleaned. See right in here? This was so nasty. It was just dirt about six inches up and there was weeds growing into the unit. Well, we cleaned all that out. Pressure wash that. See that unit? It's a high efficiency heat and air. And uh, we'll go inside. You can see, see we got people moving in already today. Just finished them. And actually in the process of really finishing, finishing. And we're getting it done. I gotta, I gotta jump across this wet paint here. It's a good thing I got long legs. Okay, we're in. I don't know how that looked. Alright, now you remember how nasty this place looked? Remember that? This was, that's the eternal light in here. Got blinds in here. Got, it's very, very cool. That thing is pumping out some air over there. Nice in here. Wall heater that's in here isn't functional anymore. Here's the carpet. See the carpet going with the tile. New stove, new refrigerator. New cabinets, heck, even got a phone book. All right, look how it look. Keys on the counter for new tenants. Look how look nice this looks now. Put blinds up. They get a little privacy. They got a little, uh, a little bit, but it's, uh, you know, you got a, a little bit of eating area down here. Nice granite. Nice sink. Sprayer. I was going to put dishwashers in, but there just flat wasn't enough room to get a dishwasher in there. I'm losing too much cabinet space. So I got them a little bit deeper sink with a sprayer in there. Make it a little easier to do the dishes, okay? Remember back in this corner, the black from the cockroach? Ugh, nasty. This thing, this thing was the nastiest thing you've ever seen. Grease was dripping on there. It's probably 40 years of grease. I don't imagine it had ever been cleaned. The, the door into the bathroom, I don't know how they really made it work before. We had to actually switch the door, reverse it so it swung out. A little awkward as far as that goes, but you couldn't really get in here with the vanity. I don't know how they got in here. It had to be skinny people because you couldn't get by. Now they got a nice new vanity, new toilet, mirror, water heater's been fixed, tile in the shower, we've got a shower curtain up there and they put in new windows. I mean, it's all new in here. New fixtures, you know, basic light fixtures, but you know, it's a decent bedroom. It's clean, it's new, it smells nice in here. You know, it's not a horribly ugly carpet and it's Pad feels pretty good under my feet. Smoke detectors everywhere. We did more than we had to, but you know, there's you got to see the difference it makes in the neighborhood. The difference for the people that that live around here looking at this. You know, there is some pride of. of I, I think they they respect the fact that someone's seen them as people that deserve to have at least decent living quarters and, you know, a decent neighborhood to live in. So anyway, let's, uh, let's go out and we'll take a look at another one. i got to jump again. Good thing I'm tall. All right. So we got the paint up here so nobody walks in. i got to put paint in front of that door because that's just an invitation to trouble there. I mean, i got to put tape up in front of the door, not paint. Okay. So we're coming down here. Remember we got, you know, I got the old... Refrigerator, I got you know a few things to move out of here. Got somebody moving in. Unit B, Unit C is is done. In fact, we're not going in any of these because this is a little wider here and I'm not stretching. But you can see what we did. Okay. I mean, it looks look how nice the building looks. And the garbage cans need to be emptied. But, I mean, look at that from what what it was. New roof, new windows, new security doors, everything painted, new HVAC. New appliances, new counters, new cabinets, and all the units. Um, new everything. You know, it, they're, they're nice places. We fixed the electricity. Had so much stuff that was dangerous and on Saturday we fixed a lot of plumbing. They, the people who lived here, regularly had sewage backups into the apartments because they just hadn't been maintained. People that owned this, they were slumlords. That's just not right. 
So, if this was something that you'd like to learn how to do, if this was something that you'd want to be involved in, like uh, I say a lot, it's like, yeah, I'm in business to make a profit, of course, but I'm also in business to make a difference. And I got to tell you, it's a very good feeling knowing that we're making a difference in the neighborhood. You got people coming by. I've got people coming by in the neighborhood here. This is Grant High School, home of the state champion football Pacers. A lot of pride in uh, in that high school in this neighborhood. And people come by and, and comment and say, you know, how nice it is or how happy they are that it looks so good. I mean, it does. It looks nice here now. I mean, it's it's a good thing we're doing. We're getting paid and we're making a difference. I don't think it gets better than that. Okay, if you'd like to learn to do what I do, contact me. I'd be happy to teach you.